Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make hot air balloons using crayons or oil pastels and watercolor. Now, if you don't have those around, you can use whatever art supplies uh, you have, a pencil, markers, etc. But I really love how crayons or oil pastels resist the watercolor when we're painting. So I can do my drawing in step one with my crayon and then I can fill things in later with my paint and anything I've drawn with my crayon will pop up behind the watercolor. So I'll show you how to draw this large hot air balloon, but if you, after you've done that, you wanna go ahead and make more, you can certainly draw several smaller ones or play around with different styles of hot air balloons. And you can also pick what your hot air balloon is going to be flying over. Maybe you're flying over a city or someplace made up and imaginary, or maybe someplace really special to you. That's up to you. So here's how we're going to do it. First, I'm gonna start with my paper, nice and tall, portrait style, right? When our lines on the side are very nice and long. If you wanted to do it um, landscape style, you could, but you're gonna have uh, to make your hot air balloon a lot smaller, okay? So what we're gonna start by doing, picking a crayon or an oil pastel, or if you're feeling a little hesitant, maybe you wanna do it in pencil, that's okay too. And I'm gonna pick a bright color so that you can see it a little bit easier. But towards the top of my page, I'm gonna make a kind of oval shape. I like to start up towards the top, maybe get a little bit tapered or more narrow on one side. And then on the other side, I just copy that shape, keeping it symmetrical. And you can either curve this all the way off or you can kind of make a straight line across. A lot of times, hot air balloons, uh, kind of straighten out at the bottom there. It's almost like the shape of a face, but we're making our balloons. Next, we're gonna add these lines that kind of curve, and I'm gonna do four lines, and here's how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna start at the top, and I'm gonna kind of mimic this shape here. So I'm going to draw one, and then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Again, keeping things symmetrical. Two, and I've got room for maybe two more, maybe you're running out of room. If so, you could always do less or more, but let's just try and fit two more in here. Three and four. So you notice on this side, the lines curve this way, and on the right side, they curved out this way. Next, I wanna make some of the little segments of my hot air balloon. So using kind of a curved line, I'm just gonna work my way across my balloon, and I think I'm gonna aim for maybe four of these horizontal curvy lines. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five. So I've got five sections just like that. Then I'll do it again. Once more. And I've got room for one more. So I've got four horizontal curvy lines. Awesome. Starting to look a bit like a hot air balloon. Next, I wanna add my little basket. And you can make this as detailed or as simple as you like. I'm gonna go really simple just for the sake of this demonstration. But if you want to make it really, really fancy, add a whole bunch of patterns and maybe basket weaving or little sandbags or other elements, feel free to do so. I'm just gonna make kind of like a cup shape. I'm gonna make, give a little room for the, the strings, which I'll, or ropes, I'll attach those later. I'm gonna make a gentle curved line like this, kind of like a little smile. And then two lines that kind of slightly angle down like that. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then another gentle curved line like that. That's my little basket. Now, if you want, you can add a little bit of detail here. Maybe you wanna go in with a little pattern. That's up to you. All right, let's get some rope on here. Let me pick a different color. Maybe I'll go with this light yellow. And I'm just gonna connect a couple lines here and here. Now, at this point, if you wanna put people inside, maybe you wanna draw yourself or you and a friend or you and a pact or a little animal, go ahead and do that. I'm gonna make a little creature. Let's see. Hmm, maybe a little bunny sounds fun. I'll just do a little bunny that's gone up for a little ride in a hot air balloon. Let's see if I can get him to wave. Hello. I'm just making it really simple. It's kind of like a little outline, a little shadow. If you want to make yours detailed, you can. But there's my little 
little bunny dude. All right, looking good so far. Now I do want to add a little bit of pattern to um, my balloon design. You see how I added these stripes here? And I'm going to do that again with my crayon or my oil pastel. So when I paint over, it'll kind of pop through. And if at any point during this, you're getting a little frustrated, a little confused, you can always rewind, go back, slow it down if you need, and you can get those steps in. And you can always grab a new piece of paper or just turn those little oopses into something awesome. Up to you. All right, so I'm going to add a little pattern. I think I might add some of these fun little stripes and I'm kind of working in a checkerboard pattern on this one but you know the sky's the limit literally we're making hot air balloons so if you want to do something different totally fine with me you know I love it when you guys try out new things I think it's awesome so I've got some little patterns there maybe um, I'll try a little red in this one maybe I'll go this way change my direction from vertical to horizontal and I'm just kind of I'm not being perfect about this because I'm kind of going in right with the crayon itself. So if it doesn't turn out perfect, that's okay. It's kind of fun. It's playful. The idea of a hot air balloon sounds so fun right now. All right. And then you want to pick what are you going to be flying over? Maybe you're just flying in the sky and you don't even see the ground. Maybe you're so high up that you've reached outer space. All of that is up to you. You can always use a white crayon and kind of color in, or pastel, color in some clouds before you paint. I'm gonna make a little field, like a little hills that they're flying over. So I'm just gonna kind of make this lumpy shape that goes down here. And then I'm gonna make a different color green behind it over there. And then I think I'm gonna keep with like the kind of stylized idea and fill these in with some more lines give it a little kind of pop art look. Kind of looks like fun little field lines. Sometimes you see these when you're flying over big um, areas of land. The land starts to make really cool patterns and I love that. So that's kind of my inspiration. Okay, I think I'm about ready to start painting. So let me go ahead and do that. And you'll see how quickly this is gonna come together now that I've already drawn all of this out. That's why I love working in the two stages because you can kind of, you know, a lot of us are really comfortable and confident with our drawing, but painting can take a little bit more work and practice, which is fine. But once we've got this drawing in, then really we get to just let loose and color this in. So now I get to think, hmm, what will look good against my red and yellow? Something I want, I want something to pop. And I know I'm going to paint blue skies today, so I don't want to paint a blue hot air balloon because I want it to pop out. I'm going to go in and on my yellow I picked. Oh, look how it's already starting to happen. All those yellow lines are starting to pop through. Isn't that so cool? Oh, I just love that. It's like art and science all in one. Such a cool, cool technique. And then after I've got some of that and I'm gonna pick another color and I want my red lines to pop out so I don't really want to go with red because red on red won't show up if you want it to be low contrast that's fine but look at this orange those red lines really do pop up against that and look at my style with watercolors it's not that precise it's not completely perfect but you could if you wanted to if you really want to slow down and you love this part and you want to work through it nice and slow, absolutely go for it. There's no one right way or wrong way to paint. And some artists love to work really, really slow. They might spend years on a painting and other artists might love speed and wanna just kind of get all that paint in there. So you kind of gotta figure out what works for you. What gives you the end result you like? All right, my balloon's done. I'm going to paint my field. I'm going to try and use those two different greens. Here's one green. I like how sometimes colors start to change just even the further away that they are from you. So there's one there and let's get another green on this one. Ooh, I like that a lot. Awesome. Now let me do my basket and then the sky. And then I have myself a beautiful painting. Hmm, that's a good basket color. Maybe I'll do kind of like this 
tannish yellowish color. Oh, kind of turned out green. I must not have cleaned my basket or my brush up so good. But that's okay. I kind of like it. It looks fun. All right. Now, if you had clouds drawn on here, then in white or any other color, then they're going to pop up. I didn't do that on this one, so I'm just going to make my own kind of cloudy sky. Maybe you want to add the sun shining, or maybe you want to paint a sunset. That would be beautiful. I'm just going to work across, starting off kind of just in these gentle wavy lines for my cloudy blue sky. Just kind of working my way around, trying to be careful not to run into my other paint that's already there because I do want to keep it this pretty blue color. But you know what? Sometimes accidents happen and we our colors mix a little here and there. But one thing that's nice about the um, crayons or oil pastels underneath, it means that anywhere you kind of run into those spots, like my bunny right here, I can paint right over my bunny and he's not even gonna blend or mess up my other colors. So now I'm working in kind of like a loose cloudy style, just kind of squiggling around, going back to my water and adding in a little bit more just to kind of get it beautiful. Okay, I think I am almost done. Hmm, anything missing? I got my little funny bunny. I've got my blue sky. I really like how it's looking. It's so pretty. It makes me happy. It makes me wish I was going on an adventure today. But I like that we can kind of go on little adventures with our paintbrushes and our paper and our imaginations. And it's like you kind of get a little vacation or a little adventure and even without leaving your desk. So I'm just adding a little bit more blue here and there to bring in some extra color. And I like making backgrounds and the sky a chance to kind of become an abstract expressionist and, and I use it as a chance to try out maybe some new techniques and some new colors and maybe even make my, my own custom blue. Maybe you want your sky to be a different color, fine with me. All right, and there we have it, our hot air balloons. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration. When you're done, I would love to see a picture of it if you wanna take a picture of it and send it to me. I would be so happy to see it. All right, I'll see you guys in person real soon or on our Zoom call. So I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you soon, bye.